Ogden was one of the most <laughs> dominant tackles in NFL history, 11 time Pro Bowler, inducted into Pro Football Hall of Fame. You're not offended by that, right? I mean, no, Ogden. I don't, no. There you go. Okay. JO's good. All right, number two for Jacksonville will be Ray Lewis. Okay. Number three, the Cardinals, the first wide receiver off the board, Marvin Harrison. Yes, very productive Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. Number four, Baltimore Ravens, Terrell, Terrell Owens. Owens. Hall of Famer. Another wide receiver goes. Are you okay with that one? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm still scrolling, by the way, waiting to get to you. <laughs> I'm, man, I'm not you're, in the you're, top. You're okay I'm with still, I'm not going, Some names are Simeon you're Rice, okay, you're okay Eddie George, I'll, George, okay third, I'll be a third-round guy. You're Brian okay with Dawkins, but guess what? Zach Thomas, yeah. Willie Anderson. I'm yeah. not done. Leroy Glover. I'm still going here. Yeah. My finger's getting tired. Hang on. i got to wait. I gotta, I'm getting a cramp. <laughs> A lot of scrolling. Uh, Mike Allstott, <laughs> he's now got... Uh, yeah, Mike Allstott. Uh, there he is. I got you. Yeah, oh, of all Chicago. places, the Chicago yeah. Bears. But guess what? <laughs> Who would have been throwing to you then? <laughs> but guess what? That ain't reality. 13? The damn reality Overall. was I was already back in L.A. when half <laughs> them dudes was drafted. So I don't give a damn about no redo. And, and as I like to say, Mike, all the time, I don't need to defend my career at all. I know what I did. And when you play with 17 <laughs> different quarterbacks, <laughs> ain't nothing I can do. What did they just put on ESPN right. News? I, I like what Mike are they T doing to so you right now? I feel like Mike T has so much to say right now. Was, was Keyshawn overrated? <laughs> absolutely <laughs> overrated. Well, like, absolutely <laughs> overrated. Look at Mike's face. Mike's look, face is <laughs> Hey, look. Absolutely <laughs> overrated. One, one guy at the receiver position that can play multiple spots. Nowadays, you got to get multiple receivers to do that. Mike, your thoughts? Oh, no, I see. Go no, ahead, Mike. I, I've said this. I have steadfastly defended Key. He was a really good receiver. The stats will rest in for for all of time. We know that. He was a great blocker. And we did so much at the line scrimmage because if teams stayed regular, we could throw the ball because no linebacker could cover Key. And then if they went small and went nickel, we could run it behind them. So he did a lot of great things. Now, I know one person on the planet that would say that Keyshawn Johnson wasn't overrated besides Keyshawn, and that would be Rich McKay, the then general manager of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He did not think that Keyshawn was overrated. And when we said we were going to trade Keyshawn for one first-round pick, he absolutely insisted, no, we have to send two. <laughs> Mike, I, I, need you to, I need you to clear something up, though. Did, did Key have slug feet a little bit? Uh, no. He, he, was he, he fast? Was he fast or did, was he mobile? How would you... How would you frame it? Mobile, hostile. You, you know, like in today's parlance, we would talk about his catch radius. We would talk about the 50-50 balls. We would talk about contested catches. He was quarterback friendly. Like, if Vinny Testaverde was on right now, he would tell you how much he loved throwing a key just because it was such a big catch radius. Well, you mentioned Vinny Testaverde. Uh, if you had been drafted by Chicago, you're talking about Dave Craig. Eric Kramer. <laughs> what go Shannon happen, though? No. Look, look, that was <laughs> hey, the gas look, face. No. That was, what, no. But look, hey. <laughs> he just took bad medicine. Was no. it, <laughs> but wasn't going to happen. <laughs> what, after I left the Rose Bowl in 1996, I knew I was going to be the first or the second pick in the draft. I wasn't worried about it. Did you, when you, I ran so my 40 and hit the clock and went 446, 443 at 220 pounds, I wasn't worried about it. Flexed. So that was a I hard flex. Go and say your numbers. I wasn't baby. worried about it. When I vertically jumped 38 and a half and broad jumped 11, I wasn't worried about it. I can that. bring out statistics. I just never do because I don't like to have to defend my career. When you play with as many quarterbacks as I played with, hey, man, I ain't going to say nothing. Mm -hmm. We don't throw the ball on every single down. Think about it. I played the Carolina Panthers and Dan Henning, great offensive mind, great offensive coordinator. Mike. We threw the ball seven times in the game with Chris Winkie at quarterback against the Atlanta Falcons. Chris seven Winkie. times. But guess yeah. who got the one catch? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. And if one Dan, target, and, one catch. And, and if Dan Henning was on this, he would say, why do we throw it that much? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, see. Crazy how much the league has changed, man. Oh, oh, crazy man. how much the league has changed. We threw the ball like seven yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, so Jay, Jay Will, you can't bring that up. Key doesn't want to go back. We can't go back to 95. Fair <laughs> point. <laughs> That's a fair point, yes. But, but Mike, I think we asked this, right? I asked you this yesterday. Mike, I want to know from you as a GM assessing this draft, if Keyshawn was in this draft, where would he go? Look, it's a receiver league. He, he would be a, a top 15 pick for sure. Now, Jamar Chase, I think, is going to be really special. Some of these guys are so fast and explosive that when you run 4-4, and, and Key's right, at his size, when he ran it, that was something special. But these guys like Jalen Waddell now, it's on a whole nother level. But uh, Key's game certainly fits today. And, again, 
what was really great about him was his versatility to play outside, but also inside the numbers and his blocking. He would be the best blocking receiver that came out. And a lot of these teams that still want to like take Carolina to picking at eight, you know, the way Matt rule wants to play, like he'd be a great fit with his USC uh, guy that he defends all the time and Sam Darnold. <laughs> so I think that's another good fit really there good as well. Parent. Mike, you, Mike, okay. you keep, you keep referencing size, catch radius, things of that sort. When you, when you, when you think about Devonte Smith, does it worry you that he's only a buck 70? I mean, Key has talked about when, you know, guys able to put his hands on you, they can disrupt that motion. Does that worry you? Yeah. You know, Jay, well, here's, what's interesting. I went to the national championship game and I'm like, man, I can't wait to see Justin Fields, against Mac Jones. This could be a great way to try to break the tie between those two guys. And I left the, st- left the stadium thinking, like, Devontae Smith was the best player on the field. And for years, we had to defend Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison was never more than 170 pounds. He only ran about three or four routes, and we could not stop him. Devontae Smith has that type of ability. But here's something, guys. We have to recalibrate ourselves to keep saying this. Can he withstand the rigors of a 17-game regular season and at 166 pounds, that would concern me. Mm. Jalen Waddle, to me, more explosive, probably built a little bit sturdier, and that's why I would give him the benefit of the doubt. But, guys, 17 regular season games at 166 pounds, I don't know about that.